Hey y'all, welcome back. We are back at it for part two. I have gone outside and it is pouring down rain, so forgive the appearance. If you didn't see part one, I will have it linked below. Um, go ahead and check that out first. It has all of my disclaimers, so I will save my breath in this video. One thing is that I am getting over some sort of respiratory something and my voice is failing me. So I apologize if by the end of this video I'm hard to understand. I was in the car singing and doing things I was not supposed to be doing. So now my voice is worse. <laughs> Anyways, if you're into planty content, make sure you subscribe. And with that being said, we're going to get into part two of a fairly big um, import order with Tropicals Plants. My entire family is um, hanging out right behind the camera. Family, say hi. 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 <laughs> so if you hear like talking and chatting, that's just the fam. But they're being so gracious and trying very hard to be quiet for me. And I appreciate that. So thanks. This is the Anthurium Peltigerum Peltigerum, super narrow. Y'all know I like my dark shexia leaves, and this one is no exception. Look at that. This has a really cool texture too. It's very thick and leathery. I swear these shipped so nice. They just look so good. Mm. So that is the Anthurium Peltigerum super narrow no. i think was the name Mike. this is the philodendron nangaritens oh i forgot that nangaritens has like kind of fuzzy stems <laughs> if you know me you know i love fuzzy stems i love the fuzz this is the only thing i hate about it it's like all the fuzz is sticking to the stem ew we'll forever have fuzz on the freaking stems stop that Get off there, crazy. So here is the delicious Nangaritens. Look at that leaf. Oof. And if I remember correctly, I think these are a pretty red color when they first emerged too, but I could be mistaking it with something else. But either way, these leaves are stunning. Look at the stem. I love them. So yeah, there's the Nangaritens. This next one is a Anthurium. Crystallinum crossed with forgetty silver. Is it forgetty or forgetty eye? Forgetty. Forgetty? Yeah. Forgetty. The family says forgetty, so that is what it is. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. Oh, yeah, I like that one. This one's good? Yeah. <laughs> it gets the family's approval. What is the on? This is called a crystallinum hybrid. It's pretty it's a hybrid? It's prettier than the Gigi. Than the one in the cabinet? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So my squish says that she likes this better than the Anthurium Negrolanum Gigi, which was her favorite before. She likes this better. So it's nice and like kind of velvety and sheeny. I love this. Oof. So good. Let's compare it to the super silver I think this was called so just as a comparison this one is the forgetty eye hybrid so the crystallinum cross with the forgetty eye and um it's kind of like wider like more heart shaped where this is a little more slender and narrow this one also has more veining than this one but very similar just different shapes this one's a little darker but in case you're wondering I know a lot of y'all will say they look the same but they don't okay they don't <laughs> This is an Anthurium Villanoirum. I've actually wanted one of these for a very long time. <clears throat> My throat's cracking. And just never got one for whatever reason. I, I don't really know why, but they had some really pretty ones in this sale. And I think I also got a hybrid of a Villanoirum too. I just love the leaf shape and like the look of these. And this one was like nice and big and bushy. Oh. They kind of smell gross, but that's all right. We're going to wash them. I never knew before that Villanoirums have um, like ripply petioles. Hold on, I'll show you. So here is the Villanoirum. I love the way that these look. I always have. I've never had one this big before. I had a little baby years ago, um, and I don't think I would have ever been able to grow it this big back then, but I should think I guess. This is so pretty though, and it's like nice and bushy. Once it gets some water, it'll kind of relax. 
and go back to its bushy state love um and then like i was saying it's got some let me find one that shows it here we go it's got some like ripply oh this is terrible y'all can't see at all what i'm so right here hopefully you can see it's got like ripply petioles love that that looks really good yeah this is gonna be a nightmare to throw away Babe, why'd you order so many plants? This is crazy. <laughs> Get some self-control. Oh, yeah. I'm just blaming it on daddy because it's the easier thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that would be terrible. You started ordering plants. It'd be a hot mess. You'd be like, I forgot I even bought one of those. I got three of them at the house. <laughs> okay, so this is another Monstera. So we're going to have some yellow leaves. This is the Monstera Epipremnoides AF. F, F. Um, this was so pretty in like the videos and in the live sale, but I knew that it would kind of get a little ugly when it shipped. <laughs> That's okay though, because um, Monsteras tended to bounce back for me pretty well, so I'm not concerned with it. But such a pretty type. I love these leaves. Why is this not showing appropriately? Like, what are you doing? That's oh. Well, I just broke it off by That's accident, so. Perfect timing. <laughs> but this is the leaf shape. I love it. It turns into this, like, really nice, dark, shiny, mm, just love. So here's the Epipremnoides, and I will eventually get this on a moss pole and let it live to its full potential. It has... Mm -hmm has some new roots in here too so that's promising we love to see it i feel like my voice is very like monotone i'm sorry i'm trying i just i can't <laughs> this is the philodendron varicosum narrow and this is also going in our terrarium and i've heard that varicosum are very very like difficult to ship they pretty much arrive dead so i was kind of expecting that but I thought that this would be really good to kind of revive and then stick in the terrarium because it's a very small variety. The leaves look like they stay pretty small and it's a nice like kind of crawly, climby situation. So I thought this would be perfect for the terrarium. I love the way that varicosums look, but I just can't keep them alive outside of like a terrarium setup, like a high humidity setup. So I thought that would be perfect. Now this definitely is worse for wear. It's not as cute as it was when it was, you know, and it's in its perfect environment, but these are what the leaves end up looking like. They look very, very pretty. I love the varicosum cobras because they have these really like interesting wide sinuses, sort of like evil looking, and I love that. They are velvety and it just feels really good. So I'm so excited to see this. I've never seen a narrow varicosum before, so I definitely decided to just like take the risk because I just think they look so cool, the smaller, narrow variety. Um, and I really hope that it does well in the terrarium and then it goes back to its full glory because it looked amazing, amazing. This is a philodendron postazanum silver nieve. And again, this is another pillowy leafed philodendron. Y'all know I love them. I am a sucker for pillowy leaves, y'all, even though they freaking notoriously seem to get spider mites, but I can't stay away from them. But this is the Silver Nieve, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know. So pretty. Love. We are going to lose a leaf, but that's okay. I will take every variety of big, pillowy, fluffy leaves that I can get. I'm here for them all. This next one is a Pastazanum af Columbia Platinum. Absolutely love the Philodendron Columbia, which is now called the El Guapo. This is the platinum version of it, meaning that it has like a very bright platinum, obviously. Coloration. Coloration. It, I'm doomed. It's over. <laughs> it's over. This is what it looks like. This is stunning. So my El Guapo, it's very much more like true green um and this has there you go now you can see it this has a very like platinum almost like a platinum shield over it it looks so good the veining is very like true green but then you get that platinum color thrown in and it just looks so good against the veining and the pillowiness i love it so much so i'm really excited to have one of these in my collection and i cannot wait to see what it looks like when it gets nice and big 
I love them. I think that they grow so well for me too that like it's easy. Mm. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is an Anthurium Forgetti Velvet. Oh my goodness. Look how stunning it is. Like be serious. Stunning. So dark I like that. and velvety. Isn't that so nice? That is what I meant when I said like almost black. Like that looks so good. I love the shape of it too. Oh, that's a sexy forgetty. I like that. All right, two more. We have the Anthurium Villanoirum crossed with the Radicans. This was the Villanoirum hybrid I was talking about. This one looks really cool. Look at that leaf. I love that. I love the veining on it too. It just looks so good. Look at that. So pretty. So this is the Anthurium Villanoirum crossed with Radicans. All right, last one. Oh my gosh, and I like subconsciously saved the best one for last. This is the Philodendron Billetier Aff. If you guys haven't noticed, I have really been into the like Spiritu Sancti, Bernardo Pazzi, Billetier, um, Stena, what is it like the Stena Lobo? I can't remember the name of it, but all of those types of like long dark leaves. I've been really into that lately and they pulled this up in the live sale. So they call this a Philodendron Billetier Aff. Now personally, I don't feel like it looks like a true, like I don't even say a true Billetier, that's why they call it an Aff, but to me it doesn't really look like the Billy as much. It kind of reminds me, well, at least in the live sale, it reminded me of the Bernardo Pazzi a little more, but I love the look of those leaves. So I didn't really care what it was. I was like, it's mine. <laughs> so this is probably my favorite. Even though I love them all, this one is probably my, my favorite. Look at that. Like, come on, be serious. I don't know exactly what this actually is, but... Oh my God, the leaves on this are like perfection. I love that so much. So it definitely doesn't remind me of a Billy, but oh my gosh, the leaves are stunning. All right, so that was it. That was the last plant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you watched both parts, let me know. I appreciate you if you stuck around for both, but let me know what your favorite plant was in the haul if you can remember what all we got because I know it's been a long ride. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you guys are into planty content. I really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out. Hope you all are taking good care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Bye now. Family say bye. 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 bye.